हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु कांडपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट एम एस कॉलेज फॉर वीमेन बीकानेर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्टोरी ऑफ द नॉवल संस्कारा अ राइट फॉर अ डेड मैन रिटन बाय वन ऑफ द रिनाउंड राइटर्स यू आर अनंत मूर्ति संस्कारा इज अ संस्कृत वर्ड विथ मेनी मीनिंग्स इट मीन्स अ राइट ऑफ पैसेज और लाइफ साइकिल सेरेमनी और फॉर्मिंग वेल मेकिंग परफेक्ट अनदर मीनिंग इज द रियलाइजिंग ऑफ पास्ट परसेप्शंस और अनदर मीनिंग इज प्रिपरेशन मेकिंग रेडी आर सम ऑफ द मीनिंग्स ऑफ द मल्टी वोकल संस्कृत वर्ड द ओपनिंग इवेंट ऑफ द नॉवल इज डेथ इट इज द डेथ ऑफ एन एंटी ब्रहमनिकल ब्रहम anti brahmanical brahmin's death this death brings in its wake a plague many deaths teasing questions without answers old answers that do not suit the new questions and the rebirth of a good brahmin pranisha charya in trying to solve the dilemma of who should perform the death rite sanskara the acharya begins a sanskara a transformation for himself so a right for the dead men right here means a religious or traditional ceremony that is carried out by a particular group or within a particular society a right for the dead men becomes a right of passage for the living acharya we are going to begin the novel with the introduction to the author udp rajgopala charya anant murthy 1932 2014 is a contemporary writer and critic in the kannada language and is considered as one of the pioneers of the navya movement he is well known among indian authors he is the sixth person among eight recipients of the gyanpeet award for the kannada language the highest literary honor conferred in india in 1998 he received the Padma Bhushan award from the government of India he was the vice chancellor of Mahatma Gandhi University in Kerala during the late 1980s Anant Murthy's works have been translated into several Indian and European languages and he has been awarded with important literary prizes in way his main works include Sams- Sanskara Bhava Bharati Pura and Avasthe He has written numerous short stories as well. Several of his novels and short fictions have been made into movies. Most of Anant Murthy's literary works deal with psychological aspects of people in different situations, times, and circumstances. His writings supposedly analyze aspects ranging from challenges and changes faced by Brahmin families of Karnataka to bureaucrats dealing with politics influencing their work now we move on to the story of the novel sanskara sanskara is one of the acknowledged masterpieces of modern world literature it is originally written in kannad and is an allegorical novel about a decaying brahmin colony in a karnataka village it was made into an award winning controversial film in 1970 and in 1976 it was translated into english by ak ramanujan it is a tale of existential suspense a life and death encounter between the sacred and the profane the pure and the impure the ascetic and the erotic so Murthy's novel is a complicated thinking machine. It begins plainly enough with the Brahmins of a celebrated, proud, and a bit decaying Agrahara, that is called as that means settlement, facing a tough choice. If they bury a dead Brahmin reprobate, reprobate is an unprincipled person. They avoid the sin of leaving him untended. 
but if he is considered utterly reprobate and no longer truly brahman because of his many sins of word and deed they hopelessly pollute themselves through contact as they also do if they allow a true brahman to be buried by anyone else aggravating their plight in the in that word of a mistake in such a matter would ruin their reputation as specially holy high settlement a reputation based on the presence of pranisha charya the crisis is complicated by a series of misfortunes pranisha charya contends with his long standing rivalry with the victim naranappa who turns out to have died from plague which begins to spread in the village so the title of word of the title word sanskara is very commonly used in hindi hindu society sanskaras are a rigid strict form of rites conducted for the initiation of men from childhood it started with birth childhood onwards to pursue a particular line of thought or set of principles and the one who has undergone these rites is not supposed to stray from the path he is committed to these are the rites for children for adults for old men and the dead too as i have earlier told you rite is a religious or a traditional ceremony that is carried out by a particular group or within a particular society these rites are thought or set of principles the one has undergone these rites and is not supposed to stray from the path he is committed to these are the rites for children for adults for old men and the dead too there are set rules of performing these rites prescribed by hindu shastras any violation of their procedure and purpose results in social boycott and exile if one person is going to violate the rules given by the particular society the result is going to be the social boycott and exile though the whole hindu society is bound in varying degrees by rights their hold is wise like on upper caste hindus especially brahmins it is in this context the novel is set anant murthy's sanskara has an excellent storyline gripping the attention of the readers pranisha charya is a very learned and orthodox men belonging to the community of madhva brahmins he has had his vedic education in kashi banaras and given the title the crest jewel of vedic learning he is called as vedanta shiromani because he was a learned and uh, knowledgeable person he is living in the highly orthodox village of durvasapura in Mysore he is the judge of the agrahara agrahara is a settlement in all matters of uh, religion ritual and conduct his very life is a model of self sacrifice and religious conventions he married an invalid girl bhagirathi in order to render disinterested service and earn salvation as advised in the gita he practices nishkam yoga performing his duty without desiring the fruit thereof he believes that the merciful lord has put him to his way of ascetic life spiritual life to test him his heart overflows with gratitude for his bedridden wife bhagirathi who by becoming an invalid has obliged him has given a chance to him with the opportunity of becoming more perfect the mel and mellower on the road to salvation and he incessantly continuously rejoices in his feet he is happy in his state the plot of the novel is divided into three parts part 1 consist of 10 chapters part 2 consist of 6 chapters and part 3 consist of 2 chapters in the agrahara of durvasapura village a death occurs so this is how the novel moves forward in the settlement of durvasapura village a death occurs the agrahara brahmins are very orthodox 
bound by the rites and rituals all through the year pranesha charya is the spiritual leader of the agrahara there arises a problem in the settlement regarding the performance of funeral rites of the deceased this is because the deceased naranappa the person who died though a brahman of agrahara has flouted has violated all the established codes of conduct of the sect and chosen to follow the life of a reprobate reprobate means an unprincipled person and challenged the orthodoxy of the agrahara as a result of this his next of kin are unwilling to perform the sanskara for his as he is without an heir anaranappa has his own reasons for choosing this kind of lifestyle if we call him reprobate an unprincipled person he has his own reasons for choosing this kind of lifestyle he believes that brahmanism is in shambles he believes in enjoying the pleasure pleasures of life according to him the brahmans themselves are responsible for their present despicable condition people like he feels that people like garuda and lakshmana dynamite the god good values for which brahman society is held in great esteem though he outwardly worship the brahmanic cult and its orthodoxy they do everything that goes against the tenets of ideal brahmanod so pranesha charya does not want to excommunicate narappa he tries to reform and bring him back to the mainstream he personally visits narappa and tries to reason him out and advises him to mend his ways but narappa treats him with mockery and challenges him saying that he will win over him hands down and raise the grave over brahmanhood he even dares to give a peace advice to the acharya he wants the agrahara brahmans to push their sickly wives into the river and get hold of some fish scented lower caste women like the legendary matsigand so as a result of this his next of kin are unwilling to when he dies as a result of this his next of his kin are unwilling the people in the agrahara community they are unwilling to perform the sanskara for his as he is without an heir so they come to acharya for the for pranesha acharya for the solution the acharya searches for an answer for this problem in his books not finding a suitable answer in them he goes to maruti temple to see to seek a divine decree from the god but maruti does not oblige him with any clue or so as he is returning from the temple chandri the concubine of late naranappa tries to fall at his feet to seek his blessings chandri is another uh, do minor in the novel in her own right besides being beautiful everyone's sex object a prostitute naranappa brought back from a from the neighboring cities she is an exception to all the rules a running river that doesn't dry doesn't tire she is the opposite of acharya's ascetic rule book and she doesn't see her dead lover as a problem for the fine print of brahmanic law but as neither brahman nor shudra a kakas a stinking rotting kakas since that not her lover since that not her lover naranapa she can get him cremated by a muslim whom naranapa had bailed out as uh, nar as uh, na, as pranisha charya is returning from the temple chandri the concubine of late naranapa tries to fall at his feet to seek his blessings in this process the acharya gains close physical contact with her and this leads to his sexual intimacy with her pranisha charya feels compassion for her when they come upon each other in the forest at the night uh, is then bewildered then feels a thrill of tenderness then faint then hunger 
raged and finally he cried out like a child in distress the acharya decides to return to the agrahara and tell everything that transpired that happened between him and chandri to them but chandri goes to naranappa's house and arranges to cremate him with the help of a muslim fish merchant by name ahmed bari but this is not known to anyone else in the agrahara the acharya tells the agrahara brahmans that he is not able to guide them and they are free to choose as their hearts dictate the brahmans try to seek a solution for this problem by going to tamara and meeting a pandit there but he too is unable to decide the issue so they go to their guru at the at the math there the guru asks them to perform the sanskara for the deceased and hand over his property to the math as per convention on the return from math face the death of one of them and another lying sick very seriously they also learn about the death of pranesh acharya's wife apart the acharya walks out of the agrahara after the cremation of his wife he wanders aimlessly like a gypsy during his wandering he meets putta putta takes the acharya along with him and exposes him to new experiences the acharya decides the acharya decides to cast off his fear and return to his agrahara to face things there is there in his altered personality he has now gained a right of passage the agrahara brahmans who do not the agrahara brahmans who do not know what acharya desertion make the make the preparation for the cremation cremation of naranappa and and waiting patiently for the return of the pranisha charya the end of the novel still does not bring a resolution to pranisha charya's journey his extreme asceticism has blinded him to the physical enjoyments of the world outside of his rigid rituals and cleansing baths what begins as a sanskara for a dead man becomes becomes a sanskara or a rite of passage into a wholly different cycle of life for pranisha charya so we can say there is a quest in the novel quest from home quest for treasure for salvation for experience and a quest for one's own true self as undertaken by pranisha charya the protagonist of sanskara during a journey when you shed your past your history the world see you as just one more brahman realizes pranisha charya after he leaves his village and his continuing education seems to cons- consist in learning to adjust to the world's image of himself in the eyes of the villager he meets on the way he is no longer the crest jewel of vedanta but a lowly brahman perhaps on his arms collection round and if he loses even extern- external appearance of a brahman his image of himself would have to be further adjusted to the world's image of him as an anonymous casteless ponderer this is the storyline of the novel sanskara i hope you like the video please share like share like and subscribe thank you